reproducible builds is simply the way of ensuring that your builds, that the source code you start from, produces exactly the same binary. And it sounds like a very simple concept, but actually it's very difficult because it depends very much not only on the inputs, but the process that you use to produce the binaries. And the work we're doing at Adopti at the moment is concentrating on how do we take a particular version of Java, source code, and produce exactly the same binaries at the end of it. I want to say that for sure it requires an artifact called the SBOM, or Software Bill of Materials. So this is the list of ingredients. What went into the artifact that you're distributing around the world to millions of consumers? The SBOM is going to tell you what went into it. It's going to allow you to track dependencies. The reproducible build piece actually then lets us say, okay, you gave us this list of ingredients, but how do I verify it? I can also reproduce the build based on that list of ingredients and get that exact same binary. So it's the, if you will, uh, trust but verify piece. Um, so Adoptium has already completed several parts of the uh, secure supply chain piece. So as Shelley's already alluded to, we're already producing SBOMs, software bit of materials that contain all of the dependencies that are used to build a JDK. Um, and that can be quite complicated because sometimes those dependencies do affect a reproducible build and other times they don't. Um, Additionally to that, we've also been um, working to essentially establish the SALSA, uh, Google SALSA um, certificate status. So we're Currently, SALSA level two, um, which is essentially a, a criteria list that you have to meet to, uh, to be able to prove that you can reproduce a build and that you can do it in a stable way. Um, we have to be able to produce our infrastructure, uh, reproduce our infrastructure using infrastructure as a code. So um, we have to be able to tear down the infrastructure and rebuild it consistently every time so that we know when a particular build is triggered on the machine um, that it's going to have the exact same dependency levels. So, uh, Eclipse is at Temurin, we've already done a lot of that, um, but we still have a few more pieces to go. Um, to get to Salsa level 3 and Salsa level 4, as I say, the, the criteria gets higher. I actually thought it was pretty good because what you covered was, one, we already know what level we're at. Mm. Two, we know the two pieces we need to do to move to the next level. And then three, um, while some of the pieces we already do, we're just in the process of documenting them. So our projects, right from the beginning, were built with automation in mind. A lot of the stuff is already done. We're now just checking boxes and documenting to prove here's how we've done stuff in the way we've done. That's a good question. Um, for reproducible builds, we actually have um, achieved reproducibility for Linux and Mac platforms for JDK 17 and then 19 and up. We're working right now on Windows as, as the next platform that we're able to achieve this for. I believe a lot of changes have already gone in. We're targeting the end of first quarter to complete that work. And for the SBOM piece, we're already serving SBOMs up out of our API alongside the binaries. But what we're doing now is refining the contents so that we make sure that we have those uh, dependencies, every one of them that touches the, the final product. Um, and we also then verify that we can take that SBOM and feed it back into our system to create that reproducible. Uh, exact byte for byte build.